What's going on, everybody out there on YouTube again? This is Kent. I'm coming at you guys again with another YouTube video. And um, I really wanted to make a. Let's talk about rejection. Excuse, got the hiccups. This is going to be. Um, let's talk about rejection part number nine, okay? And the reason why. The reason why I'm making a let's talk about rejection part nine is because. I was out going for a walk, you know, um, I was out going for a walk, and, um, and I seen these couples, well, only one couple, uh, I, seen a, I seen a couple, you know what I mean, they were walking right in front of me, I was just going for a walk, you know what I mean, just doing some things to uh, cope with my depression and stuff like that, you know, I was going for a walk, and I had seen um, these two couples walk in front of me, they were holding hands, and, and they started kissing, they started kissing and making out right in front, right in front of my face, right in front of my face. They started, they started kissing and making out right, right in front of my face, man. And by me seeing that really made me feel bad. By me seeing, by me seeing that makes me feel more rejected, you know what I mean? And they look back at, they look they looked uh, back at me in a funny way, and I was just, and I was just walking my my own business, you know. And they they gonna walk right in front of me and, and start. They were holding hands at first, and they started kissing and making out right in front of me. And they and they gonna look back at me, you know what I mean? I said, "What you looking at? Don't look at me." You see what I'm saying? I said that to myself. But I said, "Why are they looking at me? I didn't do nothing to them." But um, by me seeing that really makes me feel more rejected you know what i mean i just really feel that i'm not meant for true love you know i keep i keep trying to look for look for somebody just to love me and accept me for who i am but you know i really feel i'm not meant for it i'm not meant for it you know i'm just not meant to be loved by a woman man no matter how hard I try I'm just I'm just not meant to be loved I really feel that um I'm just a, a failure and I'm just I'm just a reject you know I've been rejected my whole life you know what I mean I've been rejected my whole life as for the dating scene and um and that's for finding a real actual job, you know what I mean? That too, you know, and I just been rejected, I've been turned down, like I said before in my previous video, and let's talk about rejection part eight. As I said in part eight, that um I really I really wanted to work at Lids. You see what I'm saying? I really wanted to work work at Lids and and they hired somebody else. Uh, they hired another guy over me. You see what I'm saying? They never hired me. They never hired me. They, I never got a call back from them, and um, and uh, they hired him. And I kept doing follow-ups too on on that job because I really, I really wanted to work at Liz. So I, I was doing follow-ups and stuff like that, and I never, I never got a call back. Like this root beer foams up at the top like that. I don't like that. But like I was saying, um, I was doing follow-ups on that job, so they'd rather hire him over me. You see what I'm saying? I Maybe maybe, the, maybe because he was more intelligent to what, than, than what I was. I, I don't know why, he, why they hired him over me. But that really shows you that life isn't fair. Life isn't fair at all. Not just the dating scene, but as for applying for jobs too. You know, what I mean, you can, you can have a better resume than this person. They will hire they they will hire that person over you. It seems like nowadays they're hiring stupid people over smart people. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm stupid or smart, but I'm just talking about applying for jobs in general. You see what I'm saying? And um. It sucks, man. This life really sucks. And as for the dating scene and stuff like that, 
you know, I can't track no woman. I go out here and I see all these other couples and stuff like that. And, and every time I see that, you know, I just, I just, I just feel more rejected. Feel more rejected. Just, it just, it. I really feel it just, you know, makes me lose hope more and more and more and more and more every time I go out here and see other couples. I don't do nothing. I don't say nothing to them. But when I just see it, man, it just makes me feel more rejected, man. Because I want, I want what that guy has. You know what I mean? And that's a nice beautiful girlfriend you know what i mean who likes him for who he is accepts him for who he is but i can't have that you know any 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 other guy can have it but i can't have it you see what i'm saying i just really feel i'm not i wasn't uh i wasn't meant to be loved you know i wasn't meant to be loved i mean no woman loves me that no woman wants to give me the time of the day. I talk about women my age, in my age group, or a little older than me. You know what I mean? Who I can, who I can date? You know what I mean? I don't even think any woman's on my level I can date. I doubt that. I really doubt that. You know, I just really feel you know there is there is no hope out there for me, man. I keep on trying, man, because that's how much I want a girlfriend. Because I really desire that. And people want to say that, that I don't, that I should, you know, let go the need of, of a partner and stuff like that. You don't understand. You not me, you don't understand how much I want a girlfriend. People don't understand because they're not me. They're not me. They don't understand. You know, imagine your whole entire life, you, uh... You never had a girlfriend. You never been kissed. Uh, never been, never been in a relationship. Uh, none of that stuff. Never, never been on one date. None of that stuff. You constantly get rejected. Constantly get rejected. Constantly get rejected. And rejection can damage. I mean, damage, torment, destroy a man's self-esteem when he gets rejected over and over and over and over and over again, like myself. You know what I mean? It hurts. I mean, it really hurts. I'm getting tired, man. I am really getting tired of being turned down, man. I really am. You know, it sucks. It, it, it really sucks. I got this one. I, I got this window open. Um, that's why the wind's blowing like that. But um. I really feel no females want me, man. No female wants me. And if I if I if I do ever end up dating a female, she's only gonna date me out of pity. She's not gonna date me because she really, really, really likes me. She's she's only gonna date me out of pity. You know, I really feel every all every good thing that has happened to me was out of pity. Not because they really cared about me. Everything, everything, everything. Every good thing that has happened to me, happened to me in my life was out of pity. That's how I really feel. It was, it was all out of pity. It wasn't because that people really liked me and people really cared about me. It was all out of pity because they felt sorry for me. That's what it was. You know, that's exactly what it was. That shows you how much people out here don't really, they don't care about me. You know what I mean? If I'm not that stereotypical black, if I was some old thug out on the street, people, people, people will care about me, but I'm not no thug out on the street. You know, I'm just a normal guy who try to make the best out of his life, but he's failing. He's failing horribly. And that's me. That guy is me. That's all people did my whole life was bully me, tease me, made fun of me, and clown me behind my back and stuff like that. And people out there trying to ruin my reputation when I'm tr when it comes to the dating scene. And I just feel people just don't want to see me succeed. And like I said, if I ever get a girlfriend, she's only going to date me out of pity. She's only going to date me out of pity. You're only talking to me out of pity. You don't really like me. I mean, just be honest. Be straight up honest with me. 
because I really feel the average woman wouldn't even want to go out with me. The average woman don't want to go on a date with me. They just wouldn't. They just doing it because they feel sorry for me. Everything, every good thing that, like I said, everything, every good thing that has happened to me was out of pity. You know, every good thing. Because I'm a loser. I'm just a loser. I'm a failure and I'm a reject and I'm just not that kind of guy that, you know, that women like and that women are attracted to. And people wanna if people wanna talk all this confidence crap. You know, a lot of people have told me over the past over for years, excuse me. People have told me for years is that, you know, I need confidence and all that stuff. You gotta have confidence. Women love a man that is uh, that is confident and all that stuff. And I really feel that confidence doesn't mean anything. You know, it's really not about, you know, how confident you are. It's all about how the woman perceives you. I mean, confidence only works if the woman is attracted to you, but if the woman is not attracted to you, confidence is not gonna work. And women are not attracted to me. That's why I say that confidence doesn't mean anything. Confidence doesn't work because the female is not attracted to me. You know? I mean, I refuse to swallow that red pill. I refuse to swallow it. I refuse to swallow it. When I go out here and I see other couples, I feel more rejected. I feel more rejected. And sometimes by me just going out in public, going out in public, and when I see when I see a lot of women, that's the neighbors talking. When I go out in public and when I see a lot of women, I um I just I feel I feel defeated. I feel so defeated because behind rejection. Behind my past rejections, man. Cause I really feel every woman is the same. You know? I mean, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. I mean, I'm just not a not a cool dude, you know, when it comes to females and stuff like that and dating and relationships and stuff like that. I'm just not. Seeing other couples, man, torments me. It destroys me. It really does. Cause I want what you want, man. I mean you got you got a nice girlfriend and all that stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure she appreciates you and stuff like that. I wish I, I wish I could have what you have, but I can't. I'm just a loser. I really feel any woman that looks at me, she's probably she's probably thinking in her, in her head, "No, nah, I wouldn't date a guy like him. I wouldn't date a guy like him." That's probably what any woman who looks at me, damn flies. I really, I really feel every uh, any woman that looks at me from. Looks at me and they, they probably say to themselves, I wouldn't date a guy like him. I just wouldn't. Because he's a loser. I, I don't date losers. I date winners. That's probably what the women are saying in her head. And I really feel that some guys are winners and some guys are losers. And with my situation, I'm a loser. You know what I mean? It's sad for me to say these doggone flies. Uh, sad for me to say that about myself, but... You know, it's true. Uh, I'm just a loser, you know. I'm just a loser. No, 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 no other way for me to put it. You know, I'm just not no cool guy, you know. Any woman that tried to talk to me, I'll just say, just be, I'll, I'll just, I'll just tell her, you know, you, you don't want to date me, you know. You, I bet you wouldn't want to go out on a date with me, you know. 
Stop on flies, get out of my face. I'm sick of these flies. But like I was saying, I'm just not a not a cool cool guy. I, I'm a loser. I'm a reject. No other way for me to put it. My whole the reason why I say I'm a reject because my whole entire life I have been rejected. Jobs, women, everything. Get these old flies. Jobs, women, and everything. And I was never accepted by nobody. That's the reason why I make these videos. Because I speak my mind, I speak my frustration and all that stuff. I speak what's on my mind. I mean, that's just how it is. That's a bird out there. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm just a loser, you know. I have ADD. I have a learned disability. That's we have attention deficit disorder. That is a learned disability. Um, I'm autistic. I'm all this stuff, man. But, but the only good thing I could do, the only good, the only things I'm good at is cooking, collecting hats, and playing video games. I'm not good at nothing else. Everything else, I suck. I suck. I completely suck. Even even when I played sports in high school, I sucked. And I practiced too, but I, I just suck. I suck at everything. Besides collecting hats, uh, uh, video, uh, playing video games and cooking. That's about it. And, you know, and driving. I'm a good driver. That, that's about it. I ain't good at nothing else. I don't have no other talent. There are people out there who can draw, you know, people out there who can, um, what are the talents? Just people, who, just people are just naturally good at stuff. As for drawing or playing sports like basketball, football, or baseball, people are just naturally good at it. You know, for me, I'm not good at none of that stuff. I'm not. I wish I was good at playing sports and stuff like that. I tried to play sports in high school. It wasn't good. I was just a bench warmer. People were standing around laughing at me and stuff. That was it. I, 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 I'm just a reject. You know, I'm surprised I even made the football team. You know, I'm surprised I even made the football team. Make make made the football team to be a bench warmer. That's about it. I wanted to go out there and play, but they, no, nobody gave me a chance. That's my problem with people. That's my problem with human beings. That's my problem with society, is people not giving me a chance. Applying for jobs and women, never given a chance. And don't tell me this, don't tell me this, now don't tell me this crap. Ken, you know, you're still young, Ken. You, you got your li whole life ahead of you. I ain't trying to hear that. Sooner or later, I'm going to be in my 30s. I'm going to be in my 40s. You still going to be telling me I'm still young. I got my whole life ahead of me. Time flies. Time flies. Time really flies. These flies all... But, um... Just a reject. Just the overall reject. I mean, it sucks. It really sucks. But, um, that's all I gotta say in this video. This Let's Talk About Rejection Part 9. I'm just a reject. I'm a loser. Just the overall loser. Wasn't meant to succeed. Some guys are winners, and some guys are losers. Hey, well, my situation, I'm a loser.